guys, it's K-Pop Play with Tiffany, and today we are in my sewing room. Woo! So today, that means we have a really, really special video. You can try and take a guess with my necklace here to see what my favorite game and character is. I'll give you guys a few minutes to figure out. This is your hint. This is your hint for the video as well. So today we have a package, but today we're going to be doing a cosplay review. So that's why my mannequin Alice is here with me today. So with this, I think I've given you guys a little bit of time. So the hint with this guy is that I have a new dress cosplay that came to me today as well as an accessory which is really really cool and also a wig so it's a full package deal and it is based around one of my favorite game series American McGee's Alice so he announced that there's going to be a third game called Alice Asylum and this is a dress that he put on his Patreon about two years ago which is going to be towards the new game and it's also one of my favorite dresses so far of the game so let me show you Woo! Okay, so the box is now open. So a little context as to what I'm going to be unboxing and showing you guys today. So I got one full cosplay. I got one full accessory. So the accessory is going to be her weapon, her vorpal blade. Finally, I can have a vorpal blade. And then I also got a accompanying wig. It's not the actual one that it's supposed to be like for the character. It's like under another character's name. So I got that wig because with this version, she has brown hair. And I'll explain the costume as well a little bit later. And everything we're getting is from a company called EZ Cosplay. It's my first time getting something with them. So hopefully one day I can do a cosplay company review. But for now, let's check this out. All right. All right, first I see a wig. Okay, here's the wig. Ooh, it's really nice. So with this character, she does have brown hair. So instead of the traditional black, so there wasn't actually a wig company meant to go with it, so I had to kind of base it around like what other wigs that they had. So I got a wig cap. Most of the time they will send you a wig cap, and this is the wig cap I use. It's a netted version. Let's see the wig. Ooh, very nice. So there is a slight curl. That's why I got this wig. And also her bangs are kind of pushed up back and around so it's a little bit of a different look for Alice but whoo it's really silky like oh my god the texture is really nice they have the fasteners in the back so these guys there are little notches so you can make the wig tighter or you can make it looser I usually take the notches and I snap it to the back of my head so it's kind of more secure and that's also another option if you don't want to actually glue the wig to your head I just use those snaps to kind of lock it in place but wow, look at this. Like, look at that pretty shine. And it's like, it's like a nice dark brown. Ooh, it is absolutely delightful. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm also going to be trying everything on later too so I can show you what it looks like on. But wow, the curls are actually really nice. You can see how like there's a nice bounce to the wigs. Super, super nice. I will also link everything in the description below, everything that I received so that you guys can use it for inspiration. So as you can see... There isn't really any bangs to it, it just kind of parts in the middle. So I'm going to take a couple of these and push it back because it has that push back look. And then there's also curls that kind of lock in place in the back. So the wig, super, super pretty. Awesome. Let me just gently put it down right here. All right, let's check out the next thing I have. Ooh, so okay, this is the Vorpal Blade. So it's packaged super, super nice. Like everything is like nice and bubbly. Okay, give me one second. One second. Get my handy dandy tiny scissors. Okay. All right, all right, all right, here we go. All right. So you guys ready for the reveal? It took a long time to get that out, but ooh. This is really, really nice. Ooh. Okay. So this is actually proper size. So when it's in my hand, it looks like a proper knife. It is beautiful. It's like the material. It feels like plastic. It feels like it could have been 3D printed, which is really nice to know. So look in the details on this. It's a nice hard plastic. These two pieces are connected. I might go back in with some black paint and like go into like heavier details just to make it more pronounced but this is a beautiful beautiful vorpal blade there's like that little divot right there 
The handle is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah. This is absolutely beautiful. Like a beautiful, beautiful Warpal blade right here. Could use a couple of enhancements, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Let's go on now to the cosplay. Okay, I'm just gonna gently put the Warpal blade right here. Nice and safe. All right. The cosplay actually takes up like half the space in here, which is actually re really reassuring. Ooh. It comes really nicely packaged. Ooh, those are 3D. Those are like printed on there. Ooh, okay. Very, very nice. And then, so I ordered a standard size small. So sometimes with the gradient systems, you can fit into the certain size with your own measurements. Sometimes you need to have it customized and they do customization as well. I think it's like $20 extra for customization. I didn't really need that just because I knew the small was going to fit me after looking at the measurements. So let's see. Okay. Here's the first part. Oh, okay, so they sent me a black petticoat with it. Very nice. Let's look at this. Ah, oh, that lovely petticoat dancer smell. All right, so let's see what the petticoat looks like when it's fluffy. I'm just going to give me one second to fluff it out. Fluffy, fluffy, fluff. Wow, okay. okay. This petticoat actually is really nice. So there is the nice lining so you don't feel the actual tool and there's layers of tool. That's actually really nice. I never it's like I never think that things will come with petticoats, so it's always nice when they do. So yeah. Very nice standard black petticoat. I'll put everything on Alice in one second. I'm just gonna show you guys first. I'm gonna put you there. Okay. Okay, cool. So these are part of the accessories of the costume. Ooh, okay. So these pieces go on the sleeve on the shoulder. Wow, these are better than I thought. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's a pin back here so you can actually just pin it straight to the costume. So when you put it in your closet, you can take them off just to keep them safe. It has that nice little pearl detail. This is actually really nicely printed. So obviously you'll get two for each side. These are very, very nice. And now here is this back piece. Okay, interesting. Oh, no problem. So in transit, I guess this guy broke off. Not a big deal. You can just hot glue it right back there, but so as you can see, ooh, let me hold on to. You. There is Velcro here, so I'm assuming that there will be Velcro on to the other piece you put this on. We will see. But yeah, not a big issue that this guy popped off. I just take a nice hot glue gun to him later. See, just like that. So these pieces are really nice. I might go back in and give it some more definition just to make it look a little bit creepier. But that's really, really nice. I'm gonna put these two back in here. I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay. Ooh. The back bow is like nice heavy duty. Ooh. Well, the bow itself is nice and heavy duty. The fabric is super, super nice. The bottom has that tattered look. I might go back in with some black and kind of black it up, make it a little bit dirtier looking. But the bow for the back, super, super, super nice. Okay, so this tiny little bow here is for your hair. So she has, I think this on, like, on the side. I'm guessing one of the safety pins here will be for this guy. I might add like an actual thing onto this later. But there's that cute little scully right there. This is once again in that same material, so nice heavy duty. Okay, here's the apron. Ooh, let me just figure this out for a second. Okay, there it is. So here's the front of the apron. Material is super, super heavy duty. The satin ribbon is super nice as well. Everything looks nicely stitched. Let me just take a little look. Yeah, everything looks very nicely stitched here. It's a really pretty detail. So on the apron, this is with like sequins, like a little sequin ring around. Yeah is very nice so here is what the back looks like so it has that opening in the back 
Okay, that makes sense. So here's the Velcro piece that we were talking about. So this piece will get Velcroed. This, the little scully will get Velcroed to this. This is also a trial and error because I'm trying to figure out how pieces go together. So this is for your waist, so you just undo it and put it there. Very nice. Looks like some piece will go here. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but we will figure it out. But apron, super, super nice. Super, super nice. Okay. And now we're getting into the big girl herself. This is the actual dress, the main dress. Ooh. Very heavy duty. I love it. So I'm probably going to go back in and put the pearls onto this so it looks like it's quilted, but it has that quilted look. My cat's eating the box. It has a quilted look and the pearls right here are printed on. I'm probably going to go back and actually stitch pearls onto there. Super, super nice. They have this really gorgeous like antique lace that's on here for the sleeve detail. So it is a button up, which is really nice. So it buttons up to the top and the collar super, super nice as well. Let's get more into detail with the back. So the drape piece goes all the way to the back. It is Velcroed on as well, which is really nice. Ooh, this is interesting how they did this. So a little bit of context on this costume. So this is going to be based around Alice Asylum. And this outfit is based around the original artwork that people think of when they think of Alice in Wonderland. So originally she has a yellow dress. She has brown hair and has this beautiful little sweet look. So it's a look based around when she was seven and she first went to Wonderland, so it's the yellow outfit. But then the back is where we get that creepy creepy. So the back, it says, it's your fault. So stop eating the box. So in the game, a um, little bit of a spoiler alert for you guys. So it is said that she murdered her family in a fire when in fact she did not. I will not tell you who actually murdered them, so I'm going to keep that secret. But the back says it's all your fault, like you're the one who did it. You're the one who pretty much killed your family, which in fact it's not true. So that's why this dress is called Denial. So in the front is that beautiful, sweet Alice, and in the back, it's all your fault, you did it! So <laughs> everything is super, super, super nice. I love how everything looks. Like the rip in the back, how it looks so tattered. I might go back in and dirty this up a little bit more. But so far, beautiful. Now, let's put it on Alice. Woo! Welcome back, you guys. So now, after some trial and error, the costume is now on the dress form, formerly known as Alice and always will be known as Alice. So looking at it actually on the dress form is gorgeous. It is beautifully made. A couple small things I can fix later, but not a huge issue. So this is what the front looks like. It's super, super pretty. Like I said before, the pearls on the little diamonds right here. Gonna actually put pearls on that eventually. But right now it's absolutely beautifully done because you can see the pearls on it. Apron is super heavy duty, so it could hold some nice shapes once you iron it and do the necessary preparation. Head pieces right here. I'm just gonna move this to the side just so I don't drop it. If I turn to the side, the pieces on here, super, super nice from far away. It's super pronounced. And then to the back. The back was interesting trying to figure out how everything went together. So as you can see, once again, the little other scully is missing from here just because he fell off in transit. Not a big deal. Hot glue it back on. Everything's fine. So the bottom piece is super pretty with the, it's all your fault. It's super nice how it lays. I might use a different petticoat underneath it just to have it lay a little bit better. But the bow, super heavy duty, super pretty. It has all those rips in it. I'm going to go back and dirty later. I like this open piece back here. It has that more traditional look. But overall, this costume is absolutely gorgeous. 100% totally worth it. Super, super heavy, heavy duty. Like, you can feel it in your hands. The proportion is right to me. It could be different to everyone else, but the proportion is right to me gonna go back in and just paint in those details a little bit finer everything is nice I'm not adding blood to this just because I want it to look clean I know that's a weird thing but I want it to look clean you can go in if you want and add the blood to this but warp a blade is absolutely gorgeous and then the wig 
I can't remember exactly what characters this is originally for, but I'm going to link everything below. The bounce is super, super nice. Like, these curls will hold for a long time if you properly take care of it and put it away. The sheen on it is absolutely nice. The color is really, really, really brilliant. Like, it's even more brilliant up close. There's enough room for styling. On me, it's a very nice length. So overall, everything that I received, absolutely perfect. I would give this a rating of like a 9 out of 10 just because that 1%, I just want to fix up a couple of things just to make it even more perfect, but everything, awesome. The one thing that the costume is missing is that she does have a crescent necklace that's right here, and I just bought one from eBay, and I'll link that below as well, so totally not a big deal, it's just a more finer look at the thing. But overall, absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go quickly put it on and show you how it looks on a human, so... Woo! All right, guys, so now this is what it looks like when it's on me. So my sister now is behind the camera filming. Yeah. So just go up and down. So basically, just ignore that I don't have the stockings or the shoes just yet. But this is what the costume looks like on the front and on the back. Yes, the piece is still missing. I haven't had a chance to glue him, but he will be glued. <laughs> or she. Or she. Yeah. They will be glued on later using proper pronouns for my skeleton. So when I sew the piece onto this to clip it on, it'll clip on right here, put this guy down. So with the wig, it has a nice bounce to it. Eventually I'm gonna pull a couple bangs forward and push it back. So that has that look like you can't really see kind of the wig line. And then I'll take two pieces and I'll bring it around to the back and that's what it actually looks like. When you see the Vorpa blade in my hand, and it's very nicely well proportioned. Like when I hold it here, you can see how big it is compared to myself. And also, once again, this is a size small, so the size fits me perfectly fine. I have enough room in the arms to move around. There is a side zipper so I can get in and out easily. I have enough room to move, which is really good, so I can do some action poses with this guy. And that is about it. Also, if you do want your own custom size, it is available, so be sure if you need a custom size to do it. So overall, once again, this is a 9 out of 10. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video, and also go check out Easy Cosplay. Bye, guys! Yeah!